Welcome to Cisco Secure Firewall Licensing Series. My name is Chakshu Paplani and I'm a Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco. In this short video, I'll be demonstrating Cisco Secure Firewall Virtual Performance Tiered Smart Licensing, which was introduced in version 7.0. So FTD V now supports performance tiered smart software licensing based on throughput requirements and RAVPN session limits. So customers which have different requirements can choose the right licenses for them according to their needs. Options run from FTDV5, which is 100 Mbps or 50 sessions, to FTDV100, which go all the way to 16 Gbps to 10,000 sessions. And in case you're upgrading your FTDV to 7.0, this automatically assigns the device to FTDV50 tier. Uh, to continue the legacy non-tiered license after the upgrade, there is another option called variable which can be selected, which we're going to look at uh, in the demo as well. So let's drive straight into the demo. All right, so we have got two devices registered over here, FTDB SJ and FTDB BLR. And we are going to concentrate on FTDB SJ, which is running version 7.0. And if I go ahead and edit this device and go to the device tab, I can see that the performance tier currently in use is FTDB 10 which is consuming four cores and eight gigs. If I want to check the corresponding licenses that it's consuming, I can go to my Cisco Software Central licensing and I see that it's consuming FTDB base one GBPS license here, FTDB malware one GBPS license, FTDB threat protection one GBPS license, and FTDB URL filtering one GBPS license. And what we're gonna do in this demo is we're gonna change from FTDB 10 to FTDB 20 which is ultimately going to utilize FTDV base 3 GBPS licenses uh, for the corresponding features that I'm using. And ultimately at the end, we're gonna go ahead and choose the variable option, which allows you to use the legacy non-tiered licenses. And for that, these licenses will be consumed. So let's go ahead and change these licenses and see how they reflect on the smart software licensing web page. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the performance tier from FTDB 10 to FTDB 20 and save it. We're just gonna give it some time for this to show up and within like a minute, the licenses will change. Let me navigate from licenses to general and back to licenses. Great, so we can see that the chain has actually taken place and we are now using 3GBPS licenses, as you can see on the screen. And now we, what we're gonna do is ultimately we're gonna change this device to variable, which is the legacy non-tiered based licenses. Okay, we're gonna give it some time again and let me go to general and then licenses. All right, so I can see that it has stopped using the three GBPS licenses. And if I go to the next page, you can see that it has started using legacy non-tiered licenses. And if you've got multiple 7.0 devices for which you want to change the tier four, go to firewall management center, go to system, go to smart licenses and select edit performance tier select all the $7 devices that you want to change the tier for, and then select the target tier. Once you've selected the target tier, select apply, and the changes will be done. This concludes this session. I hope this has been informative, and I would like to thank you for viewing it.